Hello everyone and welcome to the series of success stories. A lot of our students got jobs in different companies in big four companies including Deloitte, Ernst and Young, KPMG, Powerwatt of Scooper so on and so forth. And we have a lot of our people who are working with almost all the service based companies in India such as Infosys, PCS, Wipro so on and so forth. But a lot of bright minds have also joined InnoDataTix, which is a startup which is formed by us in the space of analytics. Obviously, we are very choosy with whom we hire and only those people who have very good knowledge and very good commitment is what, uh, I mean, they, they are the people whom we are hiring, right? So by no means they, their skills are low, we, in fact, have to try really uh, hard to retain them. Now, that's another challenge that we have uh, you know, with us. So today we have Mihir with us. Mihir has joined us and uh, he's doing an exceptional job because he also directly interacts with me and I can comment on that. So Mihir, uh, first question is, thank you so much in the first place for giving this opportunity to interact with you. And my first question is, Mehir, what was your journey like? What was your educational background? And how did you actually get into this field of data science? Yeah, Mehir. First of all, I would like to thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Yeah, I have completed my graduation in Bitcoin, but I always had a keen interest in data science. Okay. So after completing my Bitcoin, I decided to pursue data science course to develop my skills and knowledge in this field and also to deal with and, uh, global problems. To be closer. Sometimes your voice is clear, sometimes it's not. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. In this field and also to deal with uh, real world problem. I'm confident that uh, my education background is BCom and my training in data science makes me strong candidate for data science role. Good, good, Mehir. So despite being from non-IT background, despite being from one of those uh, degree backgrounds where people feel that no, data science is not for me, it's only for engineering graduates, you have broken that myth. A lot of our students with BCom and BA background also have got jobs in the field of data analytics and data science. Good, nice to meet you. How did the internship projects help you, Mehir? You worked on internship projects. Yeah. Uh, light uh, projects to in, in no data text. How did it help you? Can you throw some light on that, please? Yeah, I have done two life projects. Uh, working on real world projects and internships is most important because it helps you to put uh, what you have learned in practice. It's like using your knowledge in knowledge and skills in the real life situations by working on this. Projects you get better at doing things that are actually done in the industry. You also get to see how things work in real world, like how people do their jobs, uh, like how people expect from you. It's a chance to meet and connect with people who can help you in future. When you list this uh, experience on your resume, it shows employer that uh, you have practical skill and know what it's like to work in, in the field. Plus, it's an opportunity to go as a person and become more adaptable and flexible. Wonderful, thank you, thank you so much, friends. Uh, people, this is not scripted. I just connected with Meher. Never I discuss with him on, Meher, these are the questions I'll ask, answer it in this way, no. It's all impromptu. I'm just asking and he's answering, right? That's all it is. So Mir, a lot of people are getting trained through us. A lot of students have uh, completed the training and a lot of students are undergoing the training. If you were to give a single most important suggestion to them, then what would that be, Mir? Only oh. one single most important suggestion to get into this field of data science or data analytics, then what would your suggestion be? Yeah. I would like to suggest that uh, build a strong foundation in the basics of data science or data analytics, whatever your pursuit. 
Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. So there we go, friends. Your fundamentals should be very strong is what Meher is saying. Once your fundamentals are strong, you can always build on top of that. A few people want to explore everything available, but they forget about the fundamentals, right? Fundamentals are very important, friends. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Meher, for your time. And I'm certain you're going to grow in leaps and bounds when it comes to your career. Thank you.